All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, this is a quick response. Uh, this is a, a video that uh, Elder Apostle Gabar did, all right, which is very edifying as well, as always. And, um, you know, he's, uh, you know, just responding to the matter here with the brother uh, approaching Sakari camp and not being contentious neither, you know, just basically telling them where they went off at in the scriptures, you know, very calmly, you know, just just talking, you know. They gave him the time to um, speak, and the brother may mention how their heads are covered, all right? And uh, Sakari, you know, which, in my humble opinion, you know, that group, starting with their head, they heads, are nothing but agents of chaos, you know? I, I really, truly believe, in my humble opinion, that these guys was paid off, you know, uh, sort of set up. You know, for the for the big for the uh, demonization that's going to come, you know, upon the Israelites. You know, when you look at the name Sakari, the spirit of Sakari, when you know the history of Sakari, the dagger men, you know, is all wicked. All right. They wicked, man. You know, they self willed. Um, uh, they, uh, you know, outlaws, man, you know, do what they want. And, uh, and as you can see from time, if you know, from their actions, you know, they got a problem with Yahweh Shai. They got a problem with Apostle Paul. You know, so many things that these guys done did to just prove that these guys are not men of the Lord. You know, just because you can quote scriptures and break downs and debate people doesn't make you a man of the Lord. All right. A man of the Lord is going to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's going to praise and worship Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and fear, which the word fear not only means to um you know be be afraid of someone, all right, or something, but it also means respect. And they don't respect the ordinance. All right, and that's you know, it's gonna be a quick video. Uh just watching this video, you know, it got me hyped and heated, you know, because these guys in their response, you know, to the brother was very contentious. They was trying to take it there. So showing you that these guys, you know, I never seen them guys before. I don't follow Sakari, so I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the brother here that you see on screen is older than them in the spirit, you know? And they young guys and they just going on teaching what they were taught of Sakari's doctrine. All right? It's not Yahweh Bashim Yahshua's doctrine, it's Sakari's doctrine. All right? Because if it was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah's doctrine, it would be straight from the scriptures. We will agree. All right. And it's like Apostle said in his title, it's plain and simple. Plain and simple, man. So I'll play the video here a little bit. I mean, the scriptures, I mean, I mean, the scriptures plain. It says what it says. You ought not to cover your head while you're praying or prophesying. I mean, what's so hard to understand about that? Right, I hear you. That's what I'm calling the saying, right? Right, I hear you. No, you, don't, no, you ain't hand the brother. You still got your head covered. And the, and the dude that's reading for you. Right, he demonstrate that he's talking about a veil. And also, we know where the law is found. Right, we know Paul is not giving a new commandment. Right, See, right there, Paul is not given a new commandment. All right, he's given a commandment. That's a commandment. You know, and uh, I'm gonna leave it there. You know, our wise brothers go watch the apostle. All right, video. These guys are just being contentious, plain and simple, and that's facts. All right, you can see it. Um, this is First Corinthians 11 and one. It says, "Be ye followers of me, even as I am also of Yahweh." Now, was not Apostle Paul taught by Yahweh Shai? All right. It says, now I praise you, brethren, 
that ye remember me in all things. Hey, wasn't Apostle Paul the light to the Gentiles, which are the Israelite foreigners? You know, Apostle Paul works exceeded the actual apostles who rolled with Yahweh Shai. You know, he, hey, Apostle Paul has a great uh, uh, work, you know, of the Lord when it comes to the New Testament. Apostle Paul is worthy of giving ordinances that will please Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. See, if you go and do what you want to do, you're in jeopardy. All right. You could be doing what the Lord hate. The Lord have given us these scriptures you know, written for our learning. And the scriptures teach us, all right, teach us on how to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, to walk circumspect, okay, to um, to be on one accord with the Lord, to rehearse the righteous acts, to do the things right, all right, not to be wrong, but to do right. Did not the scripture say in Baruch 4, seek the Lord 10 times more, all right, so even now, as Apostle Paul said, it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. So salvation is around the corner. And another thing, we're, we're, we're about to go into Jacob's trouble. If you are watchmen and you've been seeing what's going on, Esau is playing his hand. The Heavenly Father is forcing Esau to play his hand. All right. So that so Yahweh can play his hand. OK. Let me say the father is playing chess with himself because everything is according to his will. So once he played Esau, all right, allow Esau to come down having great wrath because he knoweth that he had for the short time. The Lord has something to counter that, which is Yahweh Shai returning. All right. And we're going into that. Esau is going to break up families and separate, uh, um, separate you from your families, man. They're looking to quarantine and, and put you in concentration camps. They're looking to stick shit inside your body, which is foreign. Putting this device inside of you. Because the goal is to put that chip, which is the MOTB, inside of you. All right? That is Bible prophecy. So anyway, be ye followers of me, even as I, even as I also am of Hamashiach, Yahawashai. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Now, the key word there is ordinances. Now, quick definition search for ordinance. It says an ordinance is an official rule or order or order. So it's an order. It's a commandment. It's a command. An ordinance. Of an official rule. It's an official rule approved of Yahweh Shai. Approved of Yahweh. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Ordinances that restrict building development. Now, let's see what it says here. The Merriam Webster ordinances or ordinance. It says the meaning of ordinance is an authoritative decree or direction. Order, how to use ordinance in a sentence. All right. So it's an authoritative decree. All right. Which is law. It says or direction. All right. It's, a, it's the way you supposed to go. All right. Well, the scriptures say also, what man of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? There's a certain way that you have to manner yourself, meaning conduct. All right. The way you carry yourself. Now, just for the sake of for the word's sake. For the blue letter. Giving up, giving over, giving over to the order. All right. You don't do your own thing. OK. Giving up. Yeah. Giving up because the scriptures also say uh, Romans 12 and one give thou body as a living sacrifice. That's giving up to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, giving up your life in this time, all right, to serve the Lord. All right, giving over, giving over to the order. It says the act of giving up, the surrender of cities, uh, a giving over which is done by word or mouth or in writing. 
tradition by instructions, narrative, precept. And that's what Paul was. He was given an order by mouth and in writing. Matter of fact, he was given an order. He was given an order in writing because this is a letter to the church of Corinth. It says tradition. This is our tradition to follow the ways of the Lord, to keep the commandments, the law, statutes and what? And commandments by instruction, tradition by instruction, narrative, precept. Objectively, that which is the delivered, the substance of a teaching of the body of precepts, ritual, which is an opinion of the later Jews, were orally uh, delivered by Moses and orally transmitted of unbroken succession. All right. All right. So basically, yeah, tradition ordinance. So we, we, we got the meat. All right, off the bone. Okay. You get you get it. You should get it. It says, Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. What's the ordinance? Let me go back to the definition of Colin English. An ordinance is an official rule or order. All right. To keep the rule, keep the order. Root word for ordinance is order. It says as I delivered them to you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Yahawashai, Hamashiach, okay, because Yahawashai is the head of the church. It says, and the head of the woman is the man, meaning the order, the man in his household, he's over his woman. This is an order, okay? Every man is subject to Yahawashai, every woman is subject to her man, her husband. It says, and the head of Yahawashai is the Most High. So Yahawashai is subject unto the Most High. So you see the order, the ordinance, the tradition. You see how things go. This is why we have to man ourselves in proper order. Yahawashai said he's not the author of confusion because confusion brings Satan. All right. So the head of the man is Yahawashai, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Yahawashai is Yahawah. Now, here's the point. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head because Apostle Paul knows better. All right. He knows better. He knows. So he's informing the body, the church, in particular here, the church of Corinth, which these letters are written for our learning today. All right. It says every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, Dishonor of his head. So you're dishonoring your head. Okay. When you're praying and prophesying, having your head covered, meaning that ain't the right thing to do. We don't want to dishonor our head. Okay. It says, but every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered, dishonor of her head. So it's vice versa. A man head is uncovered. A woman head is covered. It says for that is it says, for that is even all one as if she were shaven, because it's a shame unto you if you do those things. You should be ashamed of yourself. All right. You know, let me just say here, it says prophesy. It doesn't mean a woman out there teaching like a man. You know, if she get a vision or a dream and she's telling her husband she should cover her head. That's the holy thing to do. Oh, the scriptures, the Lord said we are holy people. All right. The word holy means to be set apart. All right. So we're set apart from the rest of the world. And that's why the Lord has an election, man. Straight up. The Lord has an election because the elect is going to get it. All right. While men keep faming themselves as they the prophets and men of the Lord and they're not. And they're not going to get it. You know, this is why the Lord has an election. You know, so with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakudash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.